Hi. Um, it's uh, about 6 o'clock a.m. my time. I couldn't sleep. I wanted to do this video. Um, I could not sleep. I was on the internet um, and I was reading some things. And I came across an article, a headline, that said Russia tried to interfere with Bernie Sanders and tried to get uh, the voters to vote for somebody else. Look, I wish people would just put this to rest. I hate this. Um, I'm going to tell you, I think Americans can be as stupid as a box of rocks. Well, maybe that's uh, saying a little too much because a box of rocks might be smarter than the average American. And the reason I say this is because there's still people out there that believe that we landed on the moon. And then in 1972, the reason we haven't been back to the moon was because we lost the technology. <laughs> yeah, we lost the technology. So we're not able to go back. And they say, oh, well, back then they used slide rulers. They don't use those today. Now, getting back to this Bernie Sanders uh, thing. Look, Russia did not have a freaking thing to do with our election. I wish the news would quit speaking about this, and I wish the news would quit saying that, uh, that Russia had something to do with this. Donald Trump spent all of his election, all of his uh, campaigning, trying to not be president. Trump never expected to be president. He thought for sure it would be Jeb Bush going up against Hillary. That's what he thought. It didn't happen that way. When everybody started backing off, Donald Trump started to get scared. And when Donald Trump started to get scared, things started to go sideways. That uh, audio tape that was leaked off the bus with Billy Bush, that wasn't as old as everybody thought it was. That was done very recently, and it was leaked to the public. It was leaked uh, to the news uh, by uh, Donald Trump. Now you're going to say, what proof do you have? Well, it's not, my, it's not my job to have proof. It's your job to show me that I'm wrong. Everything that Donald Trump does is to, get, is to make sure that he doesn't get reelected in uh, 2020. And most of the things that Donald Trump has done has been things that will not screw up America they are things that the judge can go and do away with. Um, so, yeah, it's not really uh, hurting America that bad. But getting back to the Bernie Sanders thing um, and, the, and the Russians. First, it was the Russians tried to uh, hack in and help Trump get elected. My question to you, if you're smart enough to understand my question, and you're smart enough to put two and two together, what reason would Russia have for helping Trump become president? What reason, if Trump really did win the election, in, 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 uh, the, the election, if Trump really did win the election, then how the heck did Russia get anything out of this. Russia would not have benefited from this in the slightest little bit. They would have been working their buns off for nothing. It would have been a waste of their time. Bernie was sacked by Hillary. Bernie should have won that election. Bernie should be president right now. And there's a lot of people out there that say that I'm wrong. They, they call me a communist for believing that way. But out of all the people that were running for president, the only person that I saw that actually cared for America was Bernie Sanders. I'll vote for him again in 2020 unless Joe Biden runs, and then I'll vote for Joe Biden. Speaking of Joe Biden, what would be funny is if Joe Biden ran for president and Barack was his vice president. That would be really funny. There's no law that says you can't run for vice president 
after you've been president. And there's no law that I know of that says you cannot be president a third term. As long as you don't do it after two consecutive terms in office. But most presidents, after they win two terms in office, or they get put into office twice, uh, they usually are so fed up with the whole thing that they just don't want to run again. So they quit. But uh, I'm doing this video because um, there's people that you can show them the proof, you can show them the truth, and they will still say that you're lying, that you don't know what you're talking about, like this uh, Jose Smollett thing that just happened uh, not just recently, where he faked a hate crime because he was afraid he was going to get canned off of this show. Um, Empire cut a couple of scenes out of an episode because it didn't fit with the show the way it was supposed to. So they cut out a couple of scenes. They do that with movies. They do that with TV shows. All the time they do that with plays. All of that stuff. But he got scared. Thought he was going to get cut from the show. So he faked a hate crime. Then on top of that, the prosecuting attorney for the state decided to drop the case against him. Drop the charges against him. Uh, but he paid $10,000 and he uh, did about two hours of community service. They say he didn't do the community service because he had to. He chose to do the community service. And he chose to pay $10,000. Who in their right mind, if they didn't have to give up $10,000, would just give up $10,000? That's completely stupid. In America, there's people out there, especially in my building, that was like, no, he's innocent. This was a terrible thing that happened to him. Then they were, they showed proof that he made all this up, that he faked it. And, you know, they still are saying, well, nope, he didn't get found guilty. The charges were dropped. <sighs> yeah, and, and we landed on the moon as well. We couldn't get out of the Van Allen belt without burning up. We had absolutely no idea what it would be like on the moon. We've never been there before, so we don't know if the suits that we had would actually make it on the moon or if they would cause us to, to de deteriorate when we got out of the space rocket. But we went to the moon, and uh, now they're starting to say that the reason we haven't went back to the moon is because there's space aliens out there. I honestly, I actually kind of believe there is. But that's a terrible excuse uh, to say when you're faking a moon landing, especially when we've never been there before. And there's been several astronauts that have done interviews on space stations that have said, one lady, she said, one lady astronaut, she said, in my lifetime, I want to see us go to the moon. She said... I want to see us finally figure out how to break through the Van Allen belt and make it to the moon. I hope we can do that in my lifetime. That's what she said. On video. It was on an NASA channel. I'm not making this shit up. It's too early in the morning for me. It's 6 o'clock right now, a.m. When I'm doing this video. I don't know what time you all see it, but it's... 6 a.m. my time. I'm tired. I can't sleep. I don't feel good. And then I got all these Americans that are dumb as a box of rocks hanging around me trying to tell me that, uh, that this is what's going on and that's what's going on when they haven't even got a clue. So, this is a great way to wake up, America. This has been All Things Considered because I consider all things. Have a good day, America, and all points beyond.